Hi, I'm Marshall Courier, and thanks for clicking on today's video link. As you can tell from the title, we're talking today about the Panamax MX5102. Now, most installers believe that you would want to use a power conditioner and a battery backup component for everything in a system. But some installers improperly use battery backup components, or UPS devices as they're more commonly called, for everything in the entire system. So what we're focusing on today is this MX5102's hybrid ability. We call it a hybrid because only certain outlets actually get battery backup power. In a common audio video system, you'd want to use a power conditioner with most of your audio video electronics, such as DVD players, television sets, CD players, or other source components. Then secondarily, you'd need a high current enabled power conditioner for your dynamic current devices. For example, an audio video receiver, a subwoofer, any active speaker or monitor. And then thirdly, you'd use a UPS. And that battery backup or UPS would be used for video servers, media servers, set-top boxes, and then lamp-based displays. Now most customers don't have room in their rack, TV cabinet, or wallet for three components. Enter the Panamax MX5102. Now this particular component provides sequencing power here in the front panel, a power toggle button, rack ears do come in the box for front panel mounting, and you can also replace the battery using the front panel door there. As we turn our attention to the back panel here, you'll see the battery backup bank called out in gray. So these two outlets receive battery backup power when you lose utility power. The bank next to that bank is the high current bank, ideal for active speakers such as subwoofers or high current amplifiers or audio video receivers. And the remaining six outlets there on the back panel, which you also can sequence up with a 12 volt trigger, are designed for television sets, Blu-ray disc players, or other source components. We also feature coax protection there on the back panel with ethernet and phone line protection, great for DSL modems. And then we also have two infrared discrete blasters. So these two infrared flashers or IR flashers are used to flash uh, standby commands to certain components when you lose utility power. This wraps up the Panamax MX5102 video. I'm Marshall Courier signing off.